40 years ago when I came to Georgetown to study in the, yes, exactly, to study in the School of Foreign Service. That's the first point. The second point is I was an international student when I was an undergraduate here. I studied at the University of Trier in what was then West Germany. Gibt's viele Leute hier von Deutschland? Niemand aus Deutschland. Ein Mann, woher kommen Sie? Hamburg. Ja, ja, sehr schöne Stadt. Nur ein Mann aus Deutschland? Unglaublich. Das ist, das ist sehr seltsam. In any case, I studied in Germany and it was one of the best years of my life. So, however long you were here, I want you to take advantage of the opportunity of being in a different country. Now, the first thing I want to say is that the United States is a weird place. The United States is an unusual place. The people are strange, the people are different. Washington DC is a bizarre city, and if anybody didn't notice, the United States is having an election for the presidency this year, and it is the bizarrest election I have ever seen. What I want you to do is enjoy that experience. Take advantage of it and realize that you probably will be able to leave this country at some point in time. So, what do I have to say? I'm going to begin by asking a question. Somebody should know the answer to this question. In what year was Georgetown University founded? 1789. See that? That is fantastic. And I have to say, if we went to other institutions in the United States, students who graduated from those institutions wouldn't necessarily know the year in which the institution was founded. Why is 1789 such an important year? It is an important year in the international system. French Revolution took place in 1789. The United States Constitution entered into force in 1789, and Georgetown was established in the capital of the United States. Georgetown was established to be a global university. The first course bulletins were published in English, in French, and in Spanish, recognizing that Georgetown was reaching out to citizens from throughout the world. So then, we today reach out as a global institution. You are an important part of Georgetown's identity. Whether you're here for a semester, for a year, for two years, for an extended period of time to get a graduate degree, you are Georgetown. So if you go to a basketball game, one of the big cheers that they have is, we are Georgetown. That is you, because you are Georgetown. Now, when I speak to a group of international students, I'm frequently called upon to give some advice. And having spent time studying in Germany myself, having been an international student, I learned a lot from the experience and I want to share just a little bit of advice that I can give to you. So, really, several things. First, get to know yourself. Now, that's going to sound strange. Get to know yourself. You have to come to Washington, D.C. to get to know yourself? Of course you don't. But I found living in a different country, living somewhere where German was not my first language. Living somewhere where the customs were different, where the governing structure was different, helped me understand better who I was, what I believed in, and what was important to me. Now this is something you don't necessarily think to do. You think, I'm studying abroad, I'm going to learn, I get to know the other place. Get to know yourself. Allow your time here to be a time of reflection on who you are and what is important to you. So that's the first bit of advice. Second bit of advice 
is get to know your fellow students. Get to know each other. Now, not just people that are together in this room, but people that aren't international students, or people who are international students who've been here for a few years. Take advantage of this opportunity to get to know these people. I cannot tell you how many hours when I lived in Germany I spent in cafes, in nightclubs, getting to know my fellow students, getting to know what made them tick, getting to understand what they were passionate about. Don't stay to yourself. Don't sit in your apartment or your dorm and study quantitative physics. If you're studying it, that's a wonderful thing, but, but don't spend all your time doing that. Get to know your fellow human beings, your fellow students. Second bit of it, or third bit of advice. Get to know Washington, D.C. Now, I have to confess, when I was an undergrad at Georgetown, I didn't do that as much as I should have done it. It's so easy to get caught up. Even if you get to know each other and get to know your fellow students, it's so easy to get caught up in the hilltop here and not venture beyond Wisconsin Avenue. Don't do that. Get to know the city. There are so many wonderful things in the city. There are museums. There are public institutions. And especially this year, when there is going to be an election and there is going to be an inauguration in January. Get to know the city. Maybe even force yourself to leave Georgetown once a week or every other week for purposes of doing that. So get to know yourself, get to know your fellow students, get to know the city. Finally, get to know the United States. When I lived in Germany, I was at the University of Trier, and I spent most of my time in Trier, but not all of my time. I traveled beyond Trier. I traveled into Germany. I traveled beyond Germany. Get to know the United States. Now, you're going to find that, for many of you, I'm sure have been here many times in the past. For some people, it's your first time. But each time you come here, just like each time I go to Germany or to some other country, there are things that surprise me. Now, in the United States, there are going to be things that will delight you. There are going to be things that will disgust you. There will be things that you fully comprehend, and there will be things that confuse you beyond belief. But while you're here, get to know the place. Now, my final bit of advice is all of you are here in some academic capacity. Maybe you're in a degree program. As Rachel mentioned, I'm the director of the Master of Science in Foreign Service, a degree program in the School of Foreign Service. Maybe you're on an exchange program. Maybe you're getting a PhD or some other high-level degree. You're here in an educational capacity. Georgetown is committed to educating people from throughout the world with a view toward service. Our whole focus is on serving our fellow human beings, whether it's as a scientist or an author or an international relations expert. The university is committed to preparing everyone for a career, for a lifetime of service. A well-known singer-songwriter in the United States wrote many years ago this line, the future's there for anyone to change. Now think about that. The future's there for anyone to change. I leave you with this question. How will you change it?
Thank you all very much.